Hello and welcome back to the Football Rundown everyone. Uh, today we're going to be doing a short video just to speak about some comments that have been made regarding the video I did about Stockport County, the match preview before the Hartlepool game. And the, there were some interesting comments which came out from it and I just wanted to address them because someone or some people have made uh, a point and I think it's a, point that's, a big point that's made in football about football clubs and fans and who can be a football fan and what is a football fan and what I mean by this is a comment which was made and I've got no issue with the person, I don't know, I don't know the person but there, there was a comment made and I'll read it out um, here right now. You can't support two teams taking tickets off proper fans. So that's the comment that's been made basically saying how can I support Manchester United and Stockport County at the same time. As I explained in the last video, Manchester United fan always have been but um, Stockport County is my local team. I have been growing up as well uh, and also uh, during lockdown uh, football grounds weren't accessible but then when they opened up football grounds I just so happened to go to that Bolton game in the FA Cup replay. Fantastic atmosphere on the night and really made me think about going to Stockport County more often, which I would then go on to do last season. And then since then, uh, Stockport County, whenever I think about going to a football match, I think of Stockport County before Manchester United anyway, because I actually prefer the match day experience at Stockport County. I, you know, I've spoken to friends about this as well, and I think they have a similar feeling. And, and, and you know, maybe the person who's made that comment will be upset. That friend of mine is a Manchester City fan, so you know, we love going to Stockport County, uh, our local team. But some people aren't happy with that. Some people think you can only support one club and everyone's entitled to their opinion. All I would say is um, once you go and look up the leagues and you get to the Premier League, there are fans all around the world who claim to support that football club. So this person who's got an issue with me being a Stockport County fan because I'm a Manchester United fan, if Stockport County go up the leagues, inevitably they're going to end up having people around the world who will then claim to support County. And I think he's going to have a much bigger issue with them. I just think it's one of them where I understand where he's coming from, you know, how can, and probably, he's probably just a Stockport County fan and always has been, you know, never really any allegiance to another football club, so maybe he doesn't like it um, when someone else, you know, who from a, from another club decides to come down to County and, I don't know, maybe not this, maybe he's just upset because I've nicked his ticket or something, I don't know, but um, it is, a, you know, it opens up a wider discussion in football really of can you have a local team and a main team and I believe the answer to that is yes, obviously. Now everyone's different. Let me know what you think in the comments on this. Uh, but I think it's interesting as well because, as I said back, it's inevitable. Uh, Stockport is not far from Manchester. Um, it's inevitable that a lot of people who go to Stockport County, you know, Stockport County fans, will be Manchester United fans, they'll be Manchester City fans. In fact, uh, there's some here that I've been reading up on. Um, I've got to find it. With both Manchester United and Manchester City located around seven miles from Edgeley Park, Stockport County has always vied with top level clubs for local support. During the mid-1960s, the Football League introduced a minimum admission price for all clubs in the four professional tiers, attempting to boost revenue for smaller clubs. It had the opposite effect in places like Stockport, while many other league clubs were in relatively close proximity. As a result, County moved all their home games to Friday evening, which generated larger crowds and extra business in surrounding pubs and restaurants. So there we go then, that was the 1960s. This isn't the 2020s, this is, you know, 60 years ago uh, where this was happening, where there were people clearly preferring to go to Manchester United to the Manchester City, Main Road and Old Trafford, rather than going to Edgeley Park, to the point where they actually moved the games to a Friday evening. Why is that? Well, it's because, as, I said, as I've just said, Stockport County fans are also Man City and Man United fans. Not every single one of them, but quite a large population of them will be. And that's what I'm saying. So. I think that these people, this isn't just a new thing, uh, but it will continue to get worse, you, you know. Look at Wrexham, for example. Uh, as you get up, you know, up the leagues and as you get more uh, media exposure, people will then start to root for that team and you can like that, or, you know, or not. But at the end of the day, it's the reality of football. And as I said, there will be Wrexham fans now who, who you know, around the country, around the world, who will look at, you know, Ryan Reynolds and... And, and that, and look at what's happening with Wrexham, and they'll, they'll jump on the Wrexham bandwagon, and, and that's just inevitable. And there'll be Wrexham fans who like that and welcome that, there'll be Wrexham fans who don't like that. And it's the same case with any other football league club, uh, and Stockport County is one of them. And I think, you know, there are going to be Manchester United fans, there are going to be Manchester, Manchester City fans who go and enjoy being at Edgeley Park. And I think, to be honest, it's not like I'm saying I support Man United and Man City, is it? You, you know. Uh, I've made it very clear Manchester United is the club I've grown up supporting, but Stockport County is my local club and I've always gone uh, to try and get behind them when possible. 
And, I, you know, I do t take a lot of interest in Stockport County. I'm not sure if the guy's aware of the channel that I've got here, but it is Manchester United con content. But it's, you know, very, very much Stockport County content as well. And actually, my best few videos are Stockport County videos. They're actually the ones I enjoy doing the most when I go to the matches and, you know, I do the vlog. So uh, I don't think I need to justify it, but I just, I'm just explaining it because I think it's an interesting point. And it's not about going in on him, but it, I think what he's made a point now is a point that he's made throughout football and that's why I thought it was an interesting video to do but as I say you, you know there are connections there will be uh, connections between county and the both of the Manchester clubs because uh, you know how close they are to one another and don't get me wrong um, at the moment Stockport County are not competing at the same level as Manchester City or Manchester United that may one day be the case and of course then that will be a decision I'll have to make at that you know that time and place but that I won't be alone in that there'll be many uh, county fans who will have that decision to make when it comes to Manchester United and Manchester City, if they start competing at the same level. Um, and obviously the FA Cup, you know, we could always face them in the FA Cup. Manchester United could face County in the FA Cup. And yeah, you know, of course it's a question of, well, who would I prefer to win? And the, the, the real answer is, of course, I've grown up as a Manchester United fan, Stockport County is my local team. I'd be happy with either outcome. Obviously I'd be embarrassed for Manchester United because you'd imagine that Manchester United would be quite a few leagues above Stockport County. So it would be embarrassing to lose to a low league team. But then great for Stockport County and fully get behind them, you know, in the further rounds. So they don't have an issue that. And uh, I just think it's interesting um, because, as I say, as they go up the leagues, as they get more exposure, and they will now because, for example, look at the deal that's happened with Sky Sports that we mentioned, uh, you know, the other day as well. There is going to be more exposure on the lower league clubs. And there will then be teams and there will then be fans, rather, who support big teams who will start to support you know, their local team or you know or maybe a lower league side that you know they like the look of and I think for me football is an interesting one isn't it because what defines a football fan it, you know can you can I go and sit there and go well I've always been a fan of how Barcelona play does that make me a Barcelona fan I wouldn't say it does I think there's a slight difference to appreciating a team and how they play and then supporting them but I I definitely think you can support a local team and also have your main club that you know it's been in your family for you know, for many generations, and I, I don't think that's an issue. But uh, for you know, for some people, clearly it is. Uh, but I, I think it's an interesting point. Let me know what you think on the matter. Do you think you can have a local team and a main team? Do you think you can have a team that you appreciate that you know the style of play of? Let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe you've got one. Uh, maybe you've got a you know a, a sort of main club and a, and the local club. Let me know what that you know if that's the case. Let me know who who that is, by the way. And uh, don't forget to like the video. And as always, thanks for tuning in.